Hello there darling plant lovers. Welcome to this succulent wreath making class. Although wreaths are usually associated with the festive season, a succulent wreath can be made all year round and will last throughout the year. You can even propagate and create a whole new wreath by taking little cuttings from this one. Your ingredients are this beautiful sphagnum moss. Oh my gosh, it smells delicious. You'll need a reef ring wire to bind your sphagnum moss. You'll need some mossing pins, a chopstick. You'll need some of this ribbon, a lovely selection of succulents. So to start, I'm just going to tie a very crude knot. I'm not going to do anything fancy at the moment. I can elaborate on this knot at a later stage. I can include a bow if I want to. It's just really to get our ribbon into the wreath so that we don't have to worry about attaching it at a later stage. I'm just going to wrap the wire around one of these uh, middle bits of wire within the frame. And now I'm just going to start taking these clumps of sphagnum moss and I'm going to bind them, wrapping this wire as I go. Can you just move your ribbon, keep it out the way, but we are just going to pack the moss over the ribbon. I like to leave my spacing, I'd say maybe about uh, five to ten centimeters um, in between sort of every wrap of the wire. So I've gone round once, I'm going to go around a second time and this time I'm just going to add more sphagnum moss to the areas that I feel need it. So I've done all my wrapping, now I'm just going to trim this bit of wire and what I do is I just kind of work it back into one of the wires that have led to this end. It's feeling great, it's feeling quite evenly spread, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to start unpotting my succulents. So you'll need a bucket just for all your bits of dirt to go. Now I very loosely uh, kind of massage these roots, just tapping, tapping the plant gently as I go. And my goal isn't to remove all of this soil. Uh, when I first started making these reefs, it was, but I have found over time, the healthier the succulent reef is, the more soil I kind of leave on at this early stage. Now I start stirring with my chopstick so that I'm making some lovely large holes within the reef. So then I'm just sort of pressing that in to the hole. Take a little bit of the sphagnum moss, preferably some of the greener pieces, and then I just sort of start pushing that into the, on, onto the top of the soil. So now I'm really sort of, with the mossing pin, pressing the succulent right into the wreath. It's a good idea at this stage to decide how you want to plant your succulents. You may decide to have quite a concentrated area, perhaps at the bottom of the reef, um, if it's hanging, or you might like to spread them out evenly throughout.
little about the aftercare now. To keep your reef from drying out, I suggest soaking it once a week for about 15 minutes or when the moss has dried out completely. And I just sort of submerge the sort of up to the crown of the plants almost. So just sort of getting the, the, as much of the moss in the water as possible. And if you do want to hang it on a door, I would recommend just letting it lay flat for a couple of weeks just to let those roots sort of nestle themselves in quite nicely. Oh, come to the end now. Final plants going in. All right, so I'm super happy with this. Um, I'm just gonna clean up a little. I'm just going to do a little bit of trimming. So I've done the inside and now I'm gonna work around the outer area. And as you can see, I'm just trimming, giving it a bit of a haircut. Don't cut your ribbon at this stage. <laughs> done that a few times. Here she is, looking super cute. Be beautiful just to sort of place a candle in the center or even little candles sort of within the spacing. Thanks for joining this class and be sure to subscribe if you'd like to create more projects made from plants.